so canonical form 2 uh, we have learned canonical form 1 in the last video and we're going to talk about canonical form 2 in this video okay. it basically uses an advanced algorithm an advanced version of canonical form 1 and it uh, also takes an a dummy variable beside your input x and output y so let us go to the straight forward algorithm we're going to go from differential equation to canonical form 2 okay so this is our differential equation this is a given differential equation we want to move on to canonical form 2 simulation diagram the first step should be to write this differential equation in the operator mode so that means you write uh, triple derivative as d cube and second derivative as d square first derivative as d and then minus 1 y is equals to 5 minus 7d plus 6d squared minus 2d cube x now this is our differential equation that's given and i'm going to claim something right now i'm going to claim that this operator d cube plus 2d square plus 5d minus 1 applied to some dummy variable b is equals to x and this operator 5 minus 7d plus 6d square minus 2d cube applied to b is y now these two equations is equivalent to this, sim this to this single expression i'm gonna claim that and i'm gonna prove that now um, to avoid writing this operation again and again i'm gonna call this operator f of d that means a function of d and i'm gonna call this g of d so this is also g of d remember my claim that these two equation is equivalent to the single expression all right so f of d v is equals to x so v is equals to f of d inverse x and it is also equals to from this equation g of d inverse y so that means f of d y is equals to g of d x if we uh, cancel out the inverse procedure and this is simply our given differential equation so we have came back to where we were before but this is much simpler to form in a simulation diagram than this whole process all right so we're gonna make out the different canonical form 2 from these two dummy equations with dummy variable v i'm gonna write the dummy dummy, dummy equation right now so this is the dummy equation of canonical form 2, 2 equations. Alright, so we are going to create 3 channels for our 3 variables for our input x, output y and our in intermediate variable v. So v is going to be here, x is going to be here and y is going to be here and this is for always fixed. Alright, and uh, canonical form 1, we made sure first of all that which of the deriv how which term should have how much derivatives but right now we are gonna produce the derivatives first of all and then um, try to make x and y according to the equations so let's see there are maximum of third de three derivatives so there are going to be three integrators coming out from v all right after this there is going to be an error sign for more terms to be added and here is also going to be an error sign for terms to get added all right so this is simply d of v this is simply d square of v this is simply d cube of v all right so we're going to produce y first of all all right so it says minus 2 d cube so that means multiplied by minus 2 and 6 d square so that means a multiplication factor of 6 and here is multiplication factor of minus 7 all right and they all gets added there is no need of added here because there is no second term and they all gets added and produces y if we try to see the uh, left hand side and equate the left hand side and outer uh, right hand side we see that minus 2d cube plus 6d square minus 7d of v and there is also another term which is called 5 of v plus 5 of v is equals to y so our y is correctly produced now we want to produce now we want to produce x all right 
so x let's take the coefficient first and multiply with the derivative uh, with our terms all right so with v for x we have minus 1 with dv for x we have 5 5 dv and with this curve we have minus 2 and d cube is already there so we don't have to do anything with that now now let's add these terms and add it finally on the adder you might think the work is done but you always want to check so that if there is going to be sign reversal or not alright if we uh, put an equal the left hand and right hand side here then we see x minus v plus 5 dv minus 2 d square v is equals to d cube v so x is going to be d cube v plus v minus 5 dv plus 2 d square v so all the three terms that had came from the multiplier factor are had the sign exactly opposite of what sh we should have had so there is going to be a sign reversal here minus 5 and it's going to be plus 2 and this is our canonical form 2 you see we are going to produce the derivative first without thinking which terms we need and then we're gonna multiply take the adder and finally produce y and x according to our equation and this is a more easier than canonical form 1 all right so we have clearly understood how to produce canonical form 2 from differential equation now we're gonna have our canonical form and we're gonna move to differential equation all right so um, we have this is our canonical form given we want the differential equation system differential equation relating input with output all right so let's make the equation for y of t first of all y of t is equals to as it is given v this is simply d of v remember this is d square of v okay v minus 3 d of v plus 2 d square of v so if we uh, take the operator ahead 2d square minus 3d plus 1 of v and what is going to be x let's equate the left hand and right hand side over here the arrows coming in and arrows coming out going out let's equate them all right so x minus 4 of v minus 3 of dv is going to be d square v all right if we um, equate the arrows coming in and arrows going out all right so x is going to be d square v plus 3d v plus 4v so it's going to be d square plus 3d plus 4v now as we have demonstrated when you have this sort of equation that some operator applied to v equals to y and some operator applied to v equals to x we can form a single equation the operator that applied to v produces x now in, in our single equation form should be applied to y so d square plus 3d plus 4 applied to y should be equal to this operator that when applied to v produces y so is d square minus 3d plus 1 multiplied by x and this is our simply our system differential equation as you might see so again uh, coming from canonical form 2 to differential equation is very easy you're gonna need to see need to find out yt and xt expression and then you will have to do some interchange with your operator as the as it is proved in first two minutes and you find out your system differential equation very easily so that's all for actually for our simulation diagram now in laplace transform when you do produce simulation diagram your integrator you don't need to do anything else but replace your integrator by 1 by s because integrating on time domain is equivalent to um, dividing by s in the s domain so really it's all same for laplace domain you just replace your integrator by 1 by s and that's all thank you